Hi, and welcome back. So we're having a problem with command sequence number 708, and the reason is because the request for that command sequence is in one packet, but the response is bundled up with the response to request 707. And I need to be able to detect that situation and correct it. So that's what we're going to cover next. So the way I'm going to, going to handle that is I'm going to look, uh, I'm going to add another column. I'm going to add a column in here. And I'm going to call that column mismatch. I'm going to use another if statement with an or. And the conditions I'm going to look for is if that equals that or if my so let's widen the cell a little, little to give us some space now I'm going to use this formula we have an OR condition this time instead of the AND and the condition I'm going to look for is if that cell equals the same cell in the uh, the previous cell in the same column, or if the current first command sequence number equals the next one, then I'm happy with that. So I am uh, going to leave the cell as a blank. And if I haven't got one of those two matches, it means that I've got some form of mismatch and I've got uh, either a request or a response that doesn't actually have a, a, a corresponding. Um, other half if you like. So I'm going to uh, just mark that as a mismatch. I'll copy that down the sheet and then if I come down the sheet I can see that I have a problem here. So for 708 I don't have a matching response and that's because uh, it was tagged into the previous stream of segments. Now I'm going to uh, fix this by simply copying this whole row and editing this. This is a this is a cheats way around this problem, but uh, I think it's it's the uh, let's call it pragmatic. Of course, what would be neat is to write a nice little um, VBA script to split these multi-message, multi-SMB message segments into uh, multiple TCP segments, but I haven't done that, not yet, to do that at some point in the future. That's taken that as a, I need to force that to take it as text. So, sorry, I should have explained there. To force that, to keep it as text, a text value, I've uh, put in a single quote command, a single quote um, just before the uh, string. So, let's carry on down the sheet and see if we can find any others. I have another one there. Same situation. Copy and uh, I just need to change. I'll be resorting all this again afterwards, so I'm not too bothered about where I put these. Um, let's have to do that. It's taken that as a numeric as well. I need it as a Right, in fact, I think I um, didn't I leave that as a numeric for the uh, 708 value. That's why I got the other mismatch. Yeah, let's just change that. This is a real pain having to do this, but there's no other way uh, around this. You just have to fiddle with it a bit. 
Um, that's it. So we only had two circumstances where that situation arose. Um, now what we can do is um, what we just need to check is that our other formulas have worked okay. Yeah, so they've picked up the 729 correctly and those sorts of things. So now I've solved that issue. Uh, actually, I don't need this column anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, now I'm going to sort the data again in just the same way as I did before. But now I should have fixed all of the problems. So let's go and have a look at the uh, 707 sequence number just to make sure. Sure, why I'm picking that up there. Seven or seven was first sequence number, and I've got the seven or eight one fixed as well. So I've got a, a copy of one of these packets to give me the actual request, and then I've got the response coming back. Sorry, the other way round. I've got a copy of one of these as the response. One of these packets here. So that fixes my problem. Um, by choosing that last, uh, the last one, I've actually picked up the words read response, which quite obviously this wasn't anything to do with a read because this is a, a close request and it should say close um, response in there. But there's only so much we can do, so we're going to have to live with those two anomalies on um, that pa that uh, particular row there and the other row that we manipulated. Finally, the data is ready for us to actually do some calculations and some analysis, but I'm well out of time, so we're going to stop there. I'll see you next time.